Hey, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and push Docker image to Docker Hub with using GitHub Actions. As you see in this PPT, this PPT depicts my design here. Here, I'm going to show you like, you know, how you can use GitHub and the GitHub Actions to actually build and push the your Docker image to the Docker Hub, right? So that's the main motive of this demo. And this is the design diagram which actually explains the scenario that is revolves around this one uh, and you know before i walk you through the first part of the demo that is explaining the design and the second part you know i'm going to explain like how does it collectively works and i'm going to walk you through the code file and all before i go ahead with the first step i can't request please to subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note let's get started here so as you see here so we're going to keep our virtual control tool as a github in this github i'm going to create a repository called you know the docker image something like that in that repository we're going to create a folder where we actually keep docker file that is just a docker file and then we also keep the package.json file as well similarly under github.workflow file we're going to create a workflow file which actually you know invokes the required github action apis to build the docker image and push the docker image to the docker hub okay so here in this case the prerequisite is you know you should have a docker hub account in which you can create a repository and push your image okay so the flow is like this the developer will going to you know write the docker file and the required package.json file as well on your repository and that repository contains the github action workflow files which actually defines you know how you can build the and push the docker image to the docker hub yeah so here authenticating to the docker hub is being driven by you know a basic authentication here that is using the your docker hub name docker hub username plus token that is access token being created at the docker hub repository would be used to authenticate the or or you know to authorize the github actions to push the image to the docker hub right so basically with using the docker file github action going to build a, a docker image with using github action you know github action apis for docker hub and once the image is been built it will push that image to the uh, to the docker hub right and where the authentication and authorization will happen through the secrets that we're going to store on the github you know github environmental secrets okay that is how basically the workflow is all about right so before i walk you through the you know before i completely walk you through the code i'm going to show you my github repository so this is the docker hub images is the github repository i have created here as you see here you know it contains the you know dot github for slash workflow folder which actually host the github action workflow file that is push image to github right um, then it also has a, a folder called docker file folder which is actually is hosting the docker file plus package.json file which i told you earlier so this is the version control tool that is github you know settings basically and the other side i also created an account in the hub.docker you know portal and in this portal right so i have created a public repository to create a public repository you know once you log into this portal so to to log in or to access this portal you know you need to have an account in the site called hub.docker.com yeah um so once the account is there you can log into this particular portal and this will you know the login will land in you you know make you land here so here you know you can create a required repository by clicking on this button that is create repository for now i have created already created a public repository so you can just give like you know a test repo yeah and give the description and here the visibility there are two options that is uh, public and private yeah um so once the once that is been created so basically you know it is a case sensitive so i just uh, reverted back and uh, once the name is been given description is been provided so i will just type here not applicable for now in the visibility choose the visibility that is public or private and click on the create yeah so once the once you click on the create you know your repository is ready like this yeah so for as you see here i have the three repositories for now one is the github action pushed is that is just a random name that i have given so this is the repository which i have used and tested already this is the test repository which we have created yeah all right so we're gonna push some image to this particular repository to do that you know the docker you know portal itself is telling us that you know to use this command that is docker push you know this is the my org name 
and this is the my repo name and the tag, tag name is nothing but you know the tag something that you can do for now it does not has any you know uh, any kind of images are been there so this is how the you know the on other side that is a docker hub side okay so with this there's one more step that you need to do is go to the uh, your account go to the account setting here like this and in the security click on the security and here is the you know here is the place where you can actually create access token which is needed to configure in the github side so basically click on new access token give the description give the select the permissions and click on create access token which will actually create access token for you i have created one one demo access token which is i have already configured here i'm going to show you that so once you create it there will be a, a good will be shown which you need to copy here and once the grid is copied go to the your github so go to the github like this in the github go to the settings like i am going here now right now so go to the settings yeah on the settings we have the a place where we need to store the secrets that is you know if i go to the uh, uh, you know the secrets and variables so click on actions in this one there is a option green option green button called new repository secrets click on that and you're going to create the you know uh, create the two secrets here one with a name like docker hub token this is the token this is the you know the secret name where you will be keeping the you know the access token value so how do you create i'm going to show you that as a just a demo purpose for example so click on that provide the your you know the uh, the docker you know the docker username something like this yeah and then provide the docker username so the, the docker username will be this is the your docker username you see this is my uh, docker hub portal this is the docker username that you need to keep it from your side whatever it is once this is done the docker username is done then docker access token can be given like again just replace the docker username with the token yeah and then whatever the token that you have created from the security you need to copy and and paste it here right once you are done just keep on clicking the add secret it will add the respective you know the action secrets for this demo purpose i have already created the docker hub underscore token and the docker hub username is already been created right all right so that's all about the configuration and the on the docker on the on the you know github side that is a version control tool and in the destination side this is the where actually we are pushing our image which is being built that is a docker hub right and we, for the, to storage purpose for that we have created a dedicated repository called test repo yeah all right so with that i'm going to take you to the code now so basically this is the you know the same docker hub images is the repository which i cloned in the vs code so i'm going to quickly walk you through these files you know one after the other first one let's see you know how does i define the docker workflow which is very very important the first one we have given the name of the workflow that is build and push the docker image to the docker hub and the invocation of this workflow file is on push the in the jobs okay so in the jobs i have defined only one job that is a push to the repository to, to the registry so the name of the first is you know push the docker image to the docker hub is the name we are running this github action on the default machine that is ubuntu latest uh, so in the in the job we have multiple three steps basically one is the checking out your repository which is a default action that you must do so check out the repository is is been performed by this github actions uh, you know endpoint that is a check out at the version 3 and then we have the login to the docker hub is the is the next uh, you know github actions uh, api that is if you put docker forward slash login hyphen action at the rate version 2 which actually makes you to log into the to your docker hub from the github actions where the username and password is your username and the github token is this is the one if you pass this one it will it will make your github actions to log into the github and then process the next job yeah the next job is to build the image and also push the image with using the docker build and push actions of the github actions right and with these certain parameters that is context if you see the context i am giving the docker file folder the docker file folder is you know if you see here docker file folder is the same thing which i am giving the context here push is that push image is actually true but you know it is optional so you can keep it false if you keep it false you know the image will not be pushed that's the reason i'm keeping it true so that the image can be pushed to the to the to the github and to the docker hub from the github github actions and then we are actually giving the tag so the tag is something you know is is just a convention which is telling the command that you know hey image you just need to go and store in a particular repository of this particular account right so the format of that tags is you know first you need to give the arg name that is your uh, you know that is your username basically and this is the repository name with a tag that is something like you know you can give it as a latest or something like that 
here i'm going to keep my repo name as test repo so i'm going to keep this as a test repo for now yeah let me save this file now let me take you to the docker file folder so this is the folder which is actually hosting my docker file plus package addition file okay so here as usual you know the docker file how does the docker file you know definition will be it's just a syntactical you know uh, um, uh, just a uh, you know uh, a, a defined file just a you know file which has some syntax some definition will be written in this docker file and the definition would look like this that is from this node that is node 14 you create a work directory called user source app something like that and then it actually copies the package.json file which is present in this current running directory that is package.json file this file will be copied there and then it runs the npm install file and then it, it steps back in the sense it just it just do the cd backwards and then exposes the you know exposes the app on port number 300 right and finally you know it actually runs a command that is node command that is index.js file yeah this is what it actually does if i go to the packages.json file so in this package.json file we are just giving some definitions that is package related definition that is uh, uh, you know so this is particularly to tell a docker to build the docker image in a such a way that whatever we define in the docker file will be used as a commands to build the image and package.json file is like you know kind of an enabler to that to that particular task actually right so here version is like 1.0 description is this one main is js right test, test script is this is something script we are running right and the license you know it has the isc license and dependencies all things will be kept in the package.json file right so with that note i have quickly walked you through this uh, file anyways this source code ref reference will be given in this video's description you can find it from there and can use it for your learning purpose now in this now you know we since we are done with that what i do is i'm going to commit this change and push it to the to the to the upstream you know github repository so i will say my channel name that is cloud quick labs so this is the my commit message i'm going to queue that and click on the sync the changes whenever the sync is completed the changes will be pushed to the upstream github repository which is this is the repository and if you go to the actions the action should be invoked because we pushed something to the main branch so if i click on this one here you go the cloud quick labs you know the github action is actually being work you know invoking i'm going to lively show that you know how does this github action workflow works basically you see right currently it is running a you know step called build and push the images yeah and whatever we define there you know it's actually doing the same job it here you go so it is actually pushing the image it has built the image it is pushing the image and this is like you know this is the small image that we are building so it should be very fast like a, a blink of eyes so let me quickly walk you through the uh the steps okay that we define in this job the primary one is the checkout so i'm going to show you the checkout checkout is basically you not know, just clones the repository in the github machines that is a github action machines or github runners and then it actually does the next step that is log into the docker hub with using the credentials that we pass that is user admin and password and it should pop up a message saying like you know doggly is succeeded right and then it actually runs a command that is actually building the image you see run the docker build and push yeah and if you see the github actions uh, token yeah and docker hub information so everything will be present here and if you see right if you go down you see the build version so the basically you are building the docker image here and finally once the image has been built you see the once the image has been built it's actually uh, pushing the layer it has started the pushing the layer yeah uh, and finally you see the you know, post build task is done which is actually cleans up the existing build copy okay final all of the you know all other tasks are like a, just a cleaner of the github actions right all right so with that we have you know we see that you know the github action has done its job now let's go to the the, the destination side that is docker hub dot docker yeah hub.docker.com yeah so if i refresh this particular the doc hub docker hub repository we should see some image being pushed here right so you see the latest image right we have given name that is a tag of my image equal to latest so that image is already being pushed yeah and you can also see you know what is how the image is being constructed you can also find the same data from here right all right so this is how we actually you know um we this is how we actually you know uh, uh, design a pipeline which actually you know tells you like how you can maintain the version control of your you know docker image and keep the image 
being built and push the docker image to the your docker hub repository and with using the you know the the basic authentication mechanism so basically you know you are achieving the required ci cd workflow where you are maintaining the docker hub image version control with using the github github action and finally storing in a docker hub right all right so with that note i have successfully shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video